This is a short demonstration today of making fuel briquettes with a Peterson press. This is um, innovation by Bob Peterson, who's a member of the Beaverton Rotary Club, who after looking at the, the large Mini Bryant press that has been in use for many years, uh, decided that um, a smaller one could be made that would be uh, less expensive and easier to manufacture. And also today we're going to be using a couple more innovations in, in the mold set. The material that I'm using today is about uh, one-third uh, yard clippings from, uh, from our backyard, which has some leaves and grass in it that have been uh, allowed to uh, sit between some black plastic and break down the fiber. There's about one-third uh, sawdust that's been added and about one-third uh, shredded paper that's been through a paper shredder. To uh, make bri briquettes, you have a, a base. This one has some channels cut in the, the bottom with the idea that we're going to have the water coming out the, the bottom. We then have uh, a four inch PVC tube. This one is a, a solid tube. There's no holes drilled in the side. And then we have a three quarter inch PVC center tube, which has been drilled to help the water to go out the bottom. So now we take our material, put it in. Put in our centerpiece, which has uh, some little pieces of wood added to it to, to help the briquette uh, get more air to burn. Now put in our top. With this one, we add a another spacer on the top and then instead of using a wooden center post we're using one that is just three inch PVC. We force water off the, the bottom to get it down so that it will now fit into the press. And then we back up the press to get out the rest of the water. pressure off, bring down. At this point we can take the center piece out, a little bit of water in the top we take off. The briquettes are in the bottom. We put it on our ejection stand, push them out, and now we have our, our two briquettes. Then here are, so we have one, And the second one, in tropical sun, these would dry in about three days. In the Pacific Northwest, they'll probably dry inside for a week or two.